Well, greetings to you once again, my brothers and my sisters in Christ Jesus. I greet you in that name that's above every other name. At the name of Jesus Christ, every knee bows, every tongue confesses, because He, the Lord Jesus Christ, He is Lord. He's above it all. And in Him we live, we move, and we have our being. And we move and have our being and exist in such a time as this, amidst uh, all of the gang stalking, amidst all of the confusion, amidst all of the um, the craziness of what the world is and what the world wants to be, um, the delusion of what the world is and what the world wants to be, the exposure of what the world is and what the world actually has always been, which is a very evil, corrupt, perverted, twisted place and system built and uh, allowed to go forward on and that that perpetuates itself off of the suffering of others <clears throat> this there's no need for the world to be based on a system of debt and yet that is the world in the world system is a debt system they they it was never necessary we could have all come into this life as we truly are which is inherently wealthy inherently uh, resource rich rather than resource poor rather than owing you could have come into this world not as a slave not as a debtor but as a um, as somebody that has in uh, just incredible resource you could have come into this world that way but that's not what they gave us that's not the way that the, that the thing has been set up here that's not the system that people have pushed for. Instead, a handful of controllers given over to demonic powers and a demonic system have pushed and perpetuated a system of control and slavery that harvests the souls of men and women and also profits off of the sufferings of humankind. And that's what we have been dealing with and born into. That has been the thing that has been under the surface that just you know something's wrong and you've always wondered what it is and now in the middle of that too the human trafficking the child slavery the child soldiers all of that is part and parcel of uh, of what keeps everything going because there's a spiritual power that is ex that is uh, extracted off of that pain and suffering. There's a spiritual power that is able to be um, harvested in a different dimension when people go through these traumas. We could have free energy, of course. We've got a thermal nuclear reactor in the sky putting out um, energy continually. Why do we need to pipe it hundreds and thousands of miles? <clears throat> and ship it around the world and extract it out of the ground. Of course, we have energy. We have free energy. But we don't harvest it. Why? Because you can't make money off of free energy. You can't <clears throat> exploit people over free energy. People might actually be able to do and create if they have free energy. So there's a lot of things that are there that are kept away. you got to realize that. you got to see that. Once you realize and see that, then you say, okay, well, what else is being kept away from people? Well, <clears throat> whatever might set you free is being kept away from you. You know that. Whatever might set you free is being kept away from you. The knowledge of the truth. You will know the truth and the truth will set you free. That's being kept away from you. So you've been given continually um, lies and falsehoods to keep you bound into a system, bound into a particular way of thinking, keep you away from that which would set you free and that which would put your life on a track for being able to, to be what God made you to be. The world doesn't want that. You're, the, what the world wants. The world wants you conformed. The world wants you spiritually so weak 
that you will just kind of be pushed to and fro whatever direction they want you to be. The world wants your mind and your thoughts being conformed to its mind and its thoughts. The world wants your labors to be given over to build its system and to build a better mousetrap for the next generation that will come up. That's what the world wants. The world wants you to fight to defend your own slavery. The world does not want you to be free. It wants you to be part and parcel of their thing. Now, what does God want you? Well, God want what does God want for you? Well, for this reason, the Son of God was manifest to destroy the works of the devil. Okay, so He was manifest to destroy the works of the devil in your life. <laughs> Jesus Christ came to set the captives free. He wants you to be free. A lot of people don't want to be free, though. That was a tough realization for me, realizing how many people would prefer to be in bondage, how many people would prefer to be in slavery, how many people would actually want servitude, slavery, be, be part of the system, just for, for security and for some consistency and just for, to know what's coming. That's the world that we are surrounded by. So why are you going to allow those people to be the ones that then dictate into your life? Why are you going to allow those people to be the ones that actually whoa, are the ones that are speaking words that have power in your world? When a slave is talking to somebody that is on the path of freedom and a willful slave, a happy slave, what can they talk to you about when it comes to freedom? What can, it is, what can they talk to you about when it comes to um, a choice that's in anything in line with the direction that you're going? Do you understand that? See, not everybody's opinion is worth the same. Would you rather know what Christ wants for you, or would you rather know what somebody else wants for you? Likely, you'd want to know what Jesus wants for you. Why? Because what He says is probably worth more. It's probably of greater value. It's probably of greater importance. It's probably of greater significance. It's probably something that is in line with what's best for you. So, since you want what what is the better option, the greater truth, then can you please diminish the thoughts of others that are lesser than that and put them in the proper perspective and the proper weight. <clears throat> if somebody doesn't like what you do, what you say, but they're not on that same journey why do you care why do you care why care about a thought process and something that is completely foreign to the truth that you hold to and the direction that you go with you give it too much credibility. You give them too much place. And they work very hard for you to give them that credibility. They work very hard to legitimize themselves in your own eyes so that you think that they're somebody that you should actually listen to. Listen, there are very few people in this world that I give credibility to because very few people in this world are worth it. Very few people in this world have earned that right. <clears throat> you earn that right based on, I mean, your trust and your track record, your history. You know, the word faith is interchangeable with the word trust. By trust, people did a lot of things in the scripture. They trusted God. They had faith in God. They trusted God because they had some experiences with God. And they carried on from there. When you trust, it's based on something. So,
So, as we continue to move forward in what God has for us. Now, here we are. We're in 2020. This is going to be an incredible year. Absolutely incredible year. And the people of God should be looking forward to this year. Be looking forward to this time. Be looking forward to all of what this window is. As we look forward to it, as we carry on in it, anticipate that, that what God is doing is part and parcel of this incredible larger plan that He's rolling out. At the same time, forget what the world are saying, because their opinion has no weight, has no significance, has no value, has no importance has no merit in your own life. God is exiting you out of their system. So why do you hold on to it? And why do you give them weight in what they say? Because what they say really doesn't mean anything. No. <clears throat> no, we're, we're in a different time. Ah... Oh. Yeah, world events, look, they're, they're going to move so fast, people's hearts and heads are going to spin, people's hearts will fail them when they see things coming on the earth, just because they're not ready. They have no foundation in and of themselves. They've wasted their time and their energy and their effort in frivolous and stupid things. And now when, when everything is being challenged, they don't know what to do. They don't have an answer. And in a lot of cases, their opinions really don't matter. What they're going to face and what they're going to deal with is beyond them. Already it's beyond them. And it's going to increase. Now you, child of the living God, you've built your house upon the rock. You've laid your foundation on Christ, who is the truth. And you've been through some things. You've got to also realize that the troubles, the trials, the tribulations that you faced prior to have given you strength where the worlders don't have it. Because they've coddled themselves and set up systems to coddle themselves. So they don't have any strength in themselves. And now, when they're actually having to face the challenges of this life in this world, in the great unveiling they have nowhere to go and they don't know what to do so this is where sometimes you've got to realize that as God has been putting us through trials and tribulations it has given you strength in your spirit strength in your soul and that strength is there and you'll be able to draw on it having been through So, yeah, we're much more into a time of, of things being manifest. <clears throat> and we've learned. We've learned a lot. Um, but now you need to put that learning to work. <clears throat> Listen, learning without application is worthless. You can learn something, but if you don't apply it, what good does it do for you? If you learn something but you don't apply what you've learned, so what? So knowledge without application is worthless. That's, that's kind of one of my little sayings. Um, so put it to work. Put the things that God gives you and God shows you, put them to work. Apply them so that you can also receive the benefit from them. In the world, they don't apply. They don't want you to apply the truth of the word. But as you move forward, and as you move forward in, in, in the things that God gives you to do, you'll see the benefit. <clears throat> and as you see the benefit, um, persist. I, I think we're much more in a time where we don't have to 
we don't have to um, wonder because God is right there with us in these things. As He quickens you to do, you're going to see manifestations much, much quicker now than in previous times. But it is also a very um, turbulent time, a very dangerous time, uh, but also a very incredible time. So cut away the dead things in this time too. Cut away the things that they're just they're just not worth it. You know, just leave it and move forward with what God is doing. Because God is with His people, and it's an incredible, incredible time. Keep praying, um, even when you don't feel like it, even when you're struggling. Keep praying. Keep trusting. Um, <clears throat> whenever you get caught up into something and you don't know what to do, pray. Pray, brothers and sisters. Just just reach out to God. It doesn't have to be some huge, uh, drawn-out thing. It can just be something very simple. Lord God, please help me in this. I'm struggling. I'm stuck. I don't know what to do. Lord, please, please be with me and show me and please touch the situation. Touch me. Help me to, to walk this thing out in Jesus' name. Amen. Just pray. As you do that, God is going to manifest Himself on your behalf. But when you don't do that, as you, if you stay away from that that truth, then you're going to, um, if you try to do it in your own strength, you're going to get stuck. We can't do things in our own strength. We just can't. Especially now. Now is a time where you need miraculous power to work on your behalf. You need the angels of the living God to watch out for you. You need God to quicken you to show you what to do in different situations. Because if you don't have Him guiding you, you're going to be lost. The worlders don't know what to do. They're searching, searching, searching right now for some direction, some answer, some champion to continue to take them forward. Um, and every answer that they think they have just leads to a bunch of questions and dead ends. But God knows exactly what He wants to do with His people. The system of the world is going to fail, and it's going to colossally fail. And as it does, God's kingdom also will continue to come. His will is going to be done. And you're going to see the full manifestation of the kingdom of God as God brings in His plan and His purpose. So what we do in this time is we trust, we pray, and we do the part that God has for us. And know that He that began a good work in you is going to carry it on to completion. We love you guys. God bless you. Um, do drop us an email, faithmix.gmail.com. We'd love to hear from you. Um, we do read the stuff that comes in. I know we don't always get back to everybody, but we do read the stuff that comes across. And um, we appreciate you that re reach out to us. Um, <clears throat> whatever we think or feel about the things that come into to, uh, to Faith Mix, we appreciate that you do spend the time and you do write and you do share. So that's, that's a wonderful thing. So thank you for that, for those of you that have written to us. Thank you for the encouragement. Thank you for the questions. Thank you for whatever it may be, you know, because, you know, it's all part of our journey, uh, part of all of our journey. We're journeying together. And, you know, if God's leading us, when God's guiding us, you know, that's okay. The rest of it will be what it is. You just want to be in step with Him. And, you know, it's amazing because He loves us and He's leading us and we just want to follow Him. And we want to follow Him together. So God bless you guys. I'm wishing you all a happy new year and God's richest blessings upon your lives in this 2020. Love you guys. God bless you. We'll talk to you again sometime really, really, really soon. Um, as we get into a rhythm going into this year, this is going to be an incredible time. So, all right. Talk to you soon. God bless you. Bye.